Star Wars is full of weird and wonderful creatures, but today I've got one that really is terrifying. The Gorax. And make sure to stick around, as the comic I look at towards the end of this video is straight up Star Wars horror. I hope you enjoy. To start, let's quickly establish what Gorax are. Gorax are giant semi-sentient humanoids, with one of them recorded to be 8.6 metres or 28.2 feet tall. They have ochre coloured skin, covered in dark, thick, matted hair. Their faces have forward-facing eyes, big bushy eyebrows, sharp fangs and slit nostrils. If all that's not scary enough, then they also have sharp fingernails, highly sensitive hearing from their large pointed ears and enough strength to effortlessly uproot a tree. They were notoriously aggressive and cruel, but were also quite stupid. However, they could still use objects as crude tools, such as an uprooted tree. They lived in mountainous areas and rarely showed themselves. And that's the Gorax Explained. Now let's look at three times they've appeared in canon, in release order. The first appearance of a Gorax in canon was in the Star Wars Forces of Destiny episode Traps and Tribulations in May 2018, which can be found on YouTube. In this episode, two Ewoks approach Luke and Leia, shortly after the Battle of Endor, panicked, saying that they need to reset their traps. Luke and Leia go with them, and a Gorax emerges. The Ewoks throw their spears, but they do nothing against the ginormous beast. Luke then distracts the Gorax, while Leia and the Ewoks prepare a trap. Luke brings the Gorax into position, but Leia can't cut the rope to spring the trap. Luke throws his lightsaber to her, and she cuts the rope. The Gorax is flung into a swamp. The second appearance of a Gorax in canon was in the comic Star Wars Adventures, Tales from Vader's Castle 4, in October of 2018. In this comic, the droid XMG-3 tells a story about some Ewoks, which includes the terrifying creature. The story begins with two Ewoks, Chirper and Raleigh, hunting a boar wolf, using a horn to call it towards them. They return home with their prize, but find out that the Woklings have been stolen. Together with Logre, they investigate, head into a Duloc camp, believing them to be the culprits. They find that the camp was attacked and discover a large footprint. A Duloc emerges and grabs Raleigh, saying that she will be sacrificed. The Ewok shaman Makrit appears, stepping in and questioning the Duloc. The Duloc tells the Ewoks where the sacrifice must be made. The four Ewoks travel there and find the Woklings, but Makrit betrays them, locking them in with the Woklings. Makrit reveals that he had brought the Woklings and them here as a sacrifice. A Gorax emerges, called the Great Devourer. Raleigh quickly pulls out the horn from earlier and blows it. A group of boar wolves charge through, breaking the Ewoks out. The Ewoks ride to safety on the boar wolves' backs, leaving Makrit behind to be eaten by the Gorax. Finally, there's the third appearance of a Gorax in the comic Return of the Jedi Ewoks 1 in April 2023. This comic involves Ewoks standing around a fire telling stories. Paplu's tale opens with a forest full of dead bodies. A singular living Ewok stands in the middle. A Gorax approaches from behind. The Ewok grabs a broken spear from a dead Ewok and stabs it into the hands of the Gorax. The Ewok runs, passing more and more dead bodies, until they come to a ledge. The Gorax follows, grabbing the Ewok and lifting them to its mouth. It bites down. And on that dark note, we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this dive into this terrifying Star Wars species, and we hope to see you later at Vault Holocron.